Hi everybody, I'm here to tell a scary story time. This is really scary. Um, something that happened to me just last night. So I was home alone last night. It's really hard to talk about. I just need to like let it out and talk about it. It's already a little light out right now because I really can't tell the story when it's pitch dark because it just happened and I'm still shaken up by it. I was home alone because, you know, Joseph Henry the dog there in Florida, my, my brother was out at a club and he was not gonna come home until three o'clock in the morning. So I'm all alone in the house and I'm baking Halloween cupcakes for my mukbang today. So I'm baking the Halloween cupcakes and um, the doorbell rings. So um, I walk over to the front door and I open it. I answer it, open it. And um, it's this guy in a mask. And I'm just like taking it back, I'm like, what? And the best way to describe the mask is, it's like the, the mask in like the first um, Goosebumps episode with the, with, with Collie Bath, with like the, the mask episode. It's like that mask. And I'm like, what do you want? He goes, trick or treat. And I'm like, it's not Halloween yet. It, Halloween's tomorrow, you're a day early. And then he just walks away. Shut the door, I lock it. Continuing to bake the cupcakes, I'm a little bit nervous right now. I'm continuing to bake the cupcakes and then the doorbell rings again. And this time I didn't open it. I just looked through the, the, the front door because my, my door is like whooped. Like there's a mirror on the door, but it's like whooped. So you can see through it, but you really can't see it entirely. So I was looking through it. It was the guy again in the mask and he was like trick or treat. And I was like, I didn't even answer him. I just walked away. At this point, I'm like really, really shaken up, right? So I'm like, okay, I don't know what to do. Like, I'm, I'm a little bit scared. So I start texting my friends. They're asleep. They're asleep. I text my brother. He's in the club, drunk probably. He's not responding to me. I'm all alone in the house. I don't have the car. My brother has the car. So I'm like really scared now because I'm all alone in the house. And I'm just like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? hoping he just eventually just leaves me alone, right? So, I'm baking the cupcakes. I take the cupcakes out of the oven, I'm cooling them, and I have to take out the trash. So I'm taking out the trash in the backyard. And I'm in my backyard, I'm taking out the trash, and I hear something. Cause I have a big backyard, like it's long. And there's a fence too, that that's like, it's not locked, but it's closed, like the front fence. So you can't get through the, you can't get into the backyard unless you go through that fence. And the, both fences, all, well, that fence is locked, but actually no, they're both locked. They are both locked right now. I do keep them locked for the most part, especially like at nighttime, they are locked. So at this time of night, they, they were both locked. So I'm like, okay, so maybe it's just an animal or raccoon, right? So I'm like inching up and I see a shadow in my backyard. And it's not my, it's not me, it's not my shadow, it's someone else's shadow. And the guy pops up out of the bush. There's a distance here, so he's not like that close to me, but he pops up out of the bush. And he's just staring at me. And I'm just like, <gasps> so I run in the house. I'm like running out into the house. I lock my back backyard door. I make sure all the windows and doors are locked, right? I open up. The, the window to the, to, like the dining room window, cause that's where you can see through the backyard and he's not there anymore. I don't see him anymore. I'm like, where'd he go, where'd he go? Like he's probably somewhere else in the backyard. So at this point I'm panicking. I call up the police and I tell them what happened. They said they're on their way, right? So I'm waiting for them to come now. And I'm like shaking, like I'm, I'm literally locking myself in, the, I'm locking myself in a bathroom right now. I'm, I'm locked in the bathroom and I get a phone call. And I pick up the, I think it's the police. I thought it was the police, so I pick it up and it's him. And he goes, I know you're alone in that house and I'm coming to get you, the police can't save you. And I said, please leave me alone, stop harassing me. The police are on their way. So there's nowhere for you to hide or run. Just please leave me alone, leave my backyard, leave my house, leave me alone. He goes, Maybe you should really shut your bedroom window upstairs. And I said, what do you mean? He goes, your bedroom window's open. And then he hung up and I'm like, oh shit. 
I said, oh my God, I forgot to close my bedroom window. Now my bedroom window was open and there is actually like a place like, not like a ladder, but you know, like a vine, like um, fence that you can climb up and get to my bedroom window. Like you could climb up the house if you really want to and get to my bedroom window. So I'm like, holy shit. So now I'm like, oh my God, Fred's gonna go, I can't let him get in this house. So I open up my, the bathroom and I make a run upstairs. My bedroom door is wide open. Now I never keep my bedroom door open. It's always shut, always shut. I never have it open. It's wide open, okay? My bedroom window was wide open. So I shut my window really fast. I'm looking around. At this point I have a knife and my May spray, my pepper spray. So I'm coming full handed. I'm like, come out. I'm, you better leave me alone. If you're in this house, I, I, I have a knife, like leave, like leave now, please. For the love of God, now, this tears coming down my eyes, you guys. I run into the bathroom and I lock the door. Still the police are not here, right? So I'm like frozen and shaken in shock. Next thing I know, I hear banging downstairs, banging. But it sounds like someone's like trying to bash through the window like bash through one of the windows downstairs. So I unlock the door to go downstairs to make sure he's not coming in this house if he's not in this house already. And I, he's, and I open up, I look, I open up the blinds and he's there staring at me through the window. And I'm like, I'm like, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. And there was like black marks from like where he was kicking the window. There was like black, like marks from his boot on my window. And I'm like, he's trying to get in, he's trying to get in. So I close the blinds. And uh, I'm screaming, leave me alone, leave me alone, please leave me alone, for the love of God. And I'm like, I'm, like holding my head and I'm like shivering. I'm like, tears are running down my eyes. I'm screaming, like, please on their way. They're coming, they're coming. And the police come, the police come, the police finally arrive. And they search everywhere. They could not find this guy. I told them the whole story. They said, is there, is there any way you can go? I said, no, my brother has the car. He's not responding to me. And all my friends are asleep right now. They're not responding. So there's nowhere I can go. And they were just like, well, we don't see anyone. There's nothing else more we can do. Um, tomorrow, if, any, if anything else, just let us know. But tomorrow, come to the police station, file a report, try to, you know, if you really feel like you're harassed or attacked, I would go somewhere safe, a friend's house or something. I said, okay, I'll try. I keep calling them. I will I will see, right? But they checked everywhere. They couldn't find the guy. So like, maybe the police scared them off and they, he was finally gone. So the police leave. And, you know, nothing's going on. Like minutes and turns to half hour to an hour. And I'm like, starting to get ready for bed. And um, I'm icing the cupcakes, putting the sprinkles on. I put my pajamas on. I'm literally just about to go to bed. I'm texting my friends and I'm like, please pick up, please pick up, calling them, calling them, my brother. No one's responding. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. Like I really have, I, I have no idea what to do. I'm like, maybe I should just go to a neighbor's house. But I just was like, let me just stay locked in my, my house. I feel safe in my house right now. Like I don't feel safe out there. Like I, I feel more safe inside than outside. So next thing I know, my phone's ringing, right? I'm thinking maybe the police are calling me again pick up it's the guy he's like I know they couldn't find me they can't, they're never gonna find me you're done your brother's not coming home I know you're alone in that house and in my mind I'm like how do you know it's my brother I'm like is this someone we know and I'm like just please leave me alone like at, at the end of the day like the police know about you there's nothing you can do because if anything happens the police the police will be on their way and you will get it Next thing I know, I hear a rock go through my bathroom window, my kitchen, the bathroom leading to the kitchen, that window. And I'm like, oh. I go into the bathroom just to look and there's a rock thrown into my, my bathroom window. And I'm like, Pl at this point I'm screaming, I'm about to leave the fucking house. I swear to God, I'm like, I'm done now, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm not staying in this house. So I'm running right to my front door and I slip and I hit my head. I hit my head on the wall and I'm knocked out unconscious at this point, knocked out unconscious. Now, the next thing I know, I wake up and it's light out. The sun's up and it's the morning. It's like seven o'clock in the morning. And I check and I'm like, 
I wake up and like, oh my God, I'm like, what the hell is going on? So I go into my brother's bedroom to see if he's home. He's home, he's asleep in his bed. So okay, so he's asleep in his bed. And I have like a bump on my head. It's like, it was like hurting. And I'm like, like what happened last night? And when I got knocked out unconscious, I hit my head. But I'm like, what happened, right? So in my mind, I'm thinking, did last night really happen? Like, was it all just a nightmare or just a bad dream? Because I'm fine. I'm okay. My brother's told me he's up in his, my, his bed asleep. I'm like, maybe it was all just a bad dream. And I'm like, maybe I just knocked my head and I just slipped and I fell and, and all this never happened. But then I go into the bathroom the rock is thrown on the bathroom floor, windows busted open. And I do look at my phone, I see that I did call the police last night, it was a 911 call. So everything that happened last night actually did happen. It wasn't a bad dream. So I don't know what happened. All I know is, is that I knocked myself, I knocked down, I was knocked out, and I woke up like eight hours later, it was the morning time. So I'm thinking like, he, whatever he was or whoever he was left and left and left at that point right so later on in the day um i'm telling all my friends what happened last night and they're like oh my god oh my god i'm so sorry so like i'm so sorry this happened to you they said i'm so sorry i saw your texts and calls but I was asleep and I didn't get in until the morning. I said, it's okay, it's okay. Like, I'm fine. There's nothing wrong. I, I do have a little bump on my head, but he didn't do that to me. I, I slipped and I fell and I was knocked out unconscious. And um, so I get a call from my neighbor, right? And she was just like, First of all, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. But she was like, like, I heard screaming and stuff last night. I saw the police at your, at your house. Like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. Um, she just was like, yeah, I was like, I was afraid to come because she goes, we're not that close. Cause my neighbor and I were not that close. Like we're, we're very, it's very awkward. She like, we're friendly, but like something happened. I'm not going to explain on the camera because it's too personal. And we just don't talk. You know what I mean? But she said that, listen, I was afraid to come over because, you know, we, we don't get along and whatever. But I want to just check on you today and see if you were okay. And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm like, what's wrong? Like, I heard that she sounded panicked. And she's just like, well, I don't know if you know this, but a neighbor across the street, she's dead. I'm like, what do you mean she's dead? Like, they found her in the back alley. They found her in the back, I like stabbed to death. And I just was like, oh my God. He goes, yeah, I mean, like, do you know anything about this? Like anything that happened last night that could, that you know that could have happened that killed the neighbor? And I was like, I was stalked last night. I told her the whole story I was stalked last night by this guy in a mask. And, but he threw a rock in my window. He was in my backyard. I don't know how he got in my backyard. I called the police. The police came. They searched everywhere. They couldn't find him. So they left. And I just, I slipped and I fell trying to leave my house because I was in a panic. And I hit my head and I was knocked unconscious. I told her the whole story. And she just was like, okay, well, I'm glad you're okay. But something's definitely going on in this neighborhood because someone's stalking the neighborhood. Because... She said that she got threatening calls a couple of nights ago from, from a random number. And then I got threatening calls. I got stalked last night. And then our mutual neighbor across the street found up dead, stabbed to death in a back alleyway, like near, the, near our neighborhood. So there's someone definitely stalking our neighborhood. And I'm really scared right now. I'm really afraid to even leave my house. I have all the doors locked. My friends are coming over any minute now. And that's it. I'm... Um, I told my friends, I'm like, you gotta stay, you gotta stay over to keep, to, to, to keep me safe. And they said they would stay as long as they want and they're staying in the basement right now. So they said they'll come over tonight, they're gonna sleep in the basement for the week until everything dies down. And 
we filed a police report and everything and everything settled. So this guy would be stupid to come back to this house and try anything because I have friends coming over and staying the week and the police know everything. I filed a police report. Every The whole neighborhood now knows what happened. So it would be stupid for him to come back, right? It is Halloween today. So I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. Every time like the doorbell rings and there's a trick or treater, I'm like afraid to answer the door, but I know they're just kids and I wanna give them candy. But what happened last night, you know, this neighborhood's not safe. So so the kids need to stay with their family and their parents while they're trick-or-treating around this neighborhood because this neighborhood's not safe. But anyways, I wanted to share the scary story time because it just happened last night. And I was like, I wasn't even gonna film another scary story time this year, but I was like, you know what? I have to film this because this literally just happened last night. So I was like, let me film it. Um, I wanted to film it when it was like a little bit lighter out because I'm like, I didn't want it to be pitch dark yet to film this scary story time because this, this, this is just happened last night, you know what I mean? But, and the sun's going down now, so now there is pitch dark. But um, I'm just like afraid to leave my house. So my friends are coming over tonight. We're gonna watch a scary movie and have some fun. Um, I filmed a mukbang with the cupcakes and you'll see that on my channel. And yeah, that's what's gonna happen. So I love you guys. And um, please pray for me. Please pray for this neighborhood. This neighborhood's not safe. There's a stalker, there's a serial killer, someone out to get us. And um, they know when we leave the house, they're stalking us. They know when we're alone in the house. And I'm just scared to, to even think of what's gonna happen next. So please, please, for the love of God, please pray for us in this neighborhood. Um, but I love you guys and stay safe out there on Halloween. Um, you know, be with people, be with friends. It's not safe out there. So just please, please um, just be safe. I, I love you guys, bye. Oh, and happy Halloween. Hope you have a happy Halloween.